Good morning, Kennesaw Mountain. I'm Sean Gaither. And I'm Lee Beck. We're the favorite anchors. Apparently, we've done it. 7,000. Three. I mean, you're a couple thousand off. It's all right. You know. But we've done it three times. And, and we're back. And, and we're here to stay. Take it. Oh man, I'm thirsty. I could really go for some coffee. Oh my god, that Where is... Where did you get that? So good. I got it at the cafe. Cafe is miles away, I, Sean. I know. How did you get it here? Phil Bryan delivered it to me. What an incredible person. Yeah, he's our Mustang of the week. Philip is a good person. Philip knows everyone. Philip is really sweet. Philip is a very hard worker. Philip's a man. Hello guys, I'm Philip and I'm Mustang of the Week. Yeah. What's up? Mm -hmm. Scranton's no. kid, baby! <laughs> My name is Miss Barber and I nominated Philip Bryan for Mustang of the Week because he absolutely deserves it. He is a junior here at Kennesaw Mountain High School and has matured and come a very long way since his freshman year here. He's been in um, the Mountaintop Cafe program for going on three years and the maturity that he has shown over the past three years has just been fantastic. And I truly expect for him to go further and he's a very, very smart young man and exhibits this um, intelligence in class on a daily basis. As his friends have shared with you, he has an excellent memory and is super great at remembering the names of other Mustangs on campus and will call out names of friends every day in the lunchroom on our way to class. He is just a great kid and I am truly um, very happy for him that he gets this uh, prestigious honor of Mustang of the Week. I love the coffee shop. It's like the greatest place on earth. I like meeting new people and like seeing my friends and all that. I love my friends. I have a good memory. I know how to remember everyone and everything. I've been doing karate since I was like 11 years old. I'm a black belt, first degree. He's just how to defend yourself. He helps with your focusing, self-esteem, integrity, and respect. I like running. What I like doing in track and field is the 100 meter dash. I like rap, R&B, Christianity, all kinds. Pretty boy swag. I like wearing earrings, I like wearing chains, I like wearing sunglasses, also like dressing nicely. Yeah, all the pretty girls there. Most accidents occur within 25 miles of your home. Children not restrained in a child's safety seat during a car crash are two times, scratch that, three times more likely to be injured than those restrained. Car accidents are the leading cause of death in people up to the age of 34. As you can see, Sean and I aren't really into the whole dressing up for Halloween thing. I don't know what you're talking about. You have a full-fledged snake suit on. I mean, it's, it's pretty scary. You think this is fake? Okay. Wait, what? So anyway, what? I've heard something about a monster that's been lurking around the school. Lee, I hate snakes. Um, how about we take a look at Lee. what people have picked up? Yeah. 
Sean, I am so excited for this Halloween. I am too. Do you have any big plans for the Halloween right, weekend? See what, see what I'm gonna do, all right? I'm gonna yeah. set up this box, and no one's gonna know what's in it, okay? They're gonna stick their hands in there. Oh, I know where this is going. You it's do? gonna be like eyeballs or spaghetti yeah. or something. <laughs> it's gonna be my mom's sweater in there. Not what I thought you were gonna say. Exactly. Around this time of year, kids of all ages are dressing up and pigging out. But I had the chance to speak with a young man who had a bit different idea of fun on Halloween night. For obvious reasons, you can't have any, anything black or orange in your candy bowl. And for that matter, you can't really have a candy bowl at all, because you know, it's not really a Halloween party. It's kind of an anti-Halloween party. So some good food substitutes that I've found are uh, you know, Wonder Bread sandwiches cut into non-threatening shapes like circles and squares, uh, ri bowls of rice, not really cooked because that'd get messy if you try to, you know, finger eat that. It just doesn't work out. While most Halloweeners have the fun game of sticking their hand into peeled grapes or spaghetti stacked like eyeballs or brains, young Andrew has the fun idea of identifying non-creepy objects, such as his mother's sweater. As riveting as an anti-Halloween party sounds, not everyone is as on board as young Andrew, especially when it comes to the activities at the party. So basically, this kid Andrew invites me to his anti-Halloween party. You know, I figured I'd check it out, see what it was all about. He took me through his house, an unhaunted house, and showed me bookshelves and flat screen TVs, and I, I, I completely wasn't entertained at all. So after that, he served us dessert, and instead of candy, he served sweetened milk. Who drinks sweetened milk? I don't know. I don't. It was basically the worst Halloween party I've ever been to. So if you're sick of the same old Halloween party and want to try something new, try what these teens are calling anti-Halloween parties. It's a fresh new twist, and it shouldn't be that hard to get on the guest list because I don't think many people are coming. So for KMTV, I'm Ben Worley, signing off. Did you ever play football as a child? No. <laughs> Why not? I'm terrified of cheerleaders. No. I mean, we all are at, at that age. You know? But these brave gentlemen played their heart out last Friday. With the cheerleaders on the sideline. Oh, oh God. I don't oh, know how they did man. It. Harrison game, blackout.
I am blind in one eye. Who am I? Miss Kessler? Mr. Schaefer? Miss Wright? Or Miss Larimer? The correct answer is Miss Larimer. The international yo yo champion was at my wedding. Who am I? Miss Murray? Mr. Schaefer? Miss Travitz? Or Miss Phillips? The correct answer is Miss Murray. I fell out of my desk in fifth grade and broke my collarbone. Who am I? Miss Pike? Miss Jaquish? Coach Reed? Or Coach Bettis? The correct answer is Miss Jaquish. I can imitate Yoda. Who am I? Coach Turner, Miss Boltman, Coach Reed, or Miss Trudeau? The correct answer is Miss Trudeau. Hmm, you're Yoda, Jedi Master. I served in the Louisiana Army National Guard for seven years. Who am I? Coach Gillum, Coach Rivera, Miss Gabbert, or Officer Anthony? The correct answer is Coach Gillum. Cancel Mountain, we had a great show today, right? Would you agree? Agreed. Agreed. Okay. Well, you can catch us on 24 on Comcast. 97 in Smyrna. 97 in Smyrna. And on School Tube. School website. School website. I forgot about it. Oh. How could I forget about the school website? All right. Well, Have a Merry Halloween weekend. Merry? I think it's just happy. Merry. Happy. Ka! Goodbye, Kennesaw Mountain. Love you. Hey, get ready for the blooper reel. <laughs> this show was hilarious. <laughs> Would you agree? I, I'm taking that as a yes. It involves caker. Need all the what we're saying. And quarterbacks. <laughs> My Rangers, they, they won the World Series. Bags and bags. Hey, do we have coffee? It's like a dream within a dream. Dream inception. Ugh. Inception. <gasps> But they didn't win it yet. They just made it. I'm just, I'm that happy. <laughs> Roll with it, Sean. Yes. Roll with it. Connect Wizard of Oz to Inception. All right. Um, Wizard of Oz was directed by the same guy that directed Gone with the Wind, which starts Vivian Lee, who was in Streetcar Named Desire with Marlon Brando, who's in The Godfather with Al Pacino, who's in Insomnia, directed by Christopher Nolan, who directed Inception. Inception Connection. Inception Connection. <laughs>